mixing, fixing for another big game. I'm Jonathan Coachman. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see running back Joe Mixon coming off a 100-yard performance a week ago as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Named for the legendary coach and co-founder of the Bengals, here's a good look at Paul Brown Stadium on the riverfront in Cincinnati. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between our visitors and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes that actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Two of the bigger disappointments in the first quarter of the season doing battle here as we get this one underway. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down here as the penalty flags come in right away. And we may have a face mask here right at the start. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. And yeah, you're first right. Down. They took six now. First and ten. They go back to Gordon here on first down. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. The ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, his third touchdown now on the year. So now the Bengals get ready for their first drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was the second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A little ambitious that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed him. They'll run here with Mixon. And he's taken down inside the 30. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Here now the offense for the Bengals. An offensive line play is not something that comes to mind readily, but it's always a big key in a ball game. And if it's in front of him, no room to find to get upfield. He'll drop to throw. Got a man, it's Amendola. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 12 yards. In this case, though, He's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive game. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Antonio Brown, his fifth touchdown now on the year. Well, luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. To throw again on second down. Rivers going underneath for Gordon. And they bring him to the ground. Lead. On third down, Rivers. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he's got this down a yard or two shot. It was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And this one will not get there. It's all on first down there, but it's incomplete. Now look at the Chargers starting 11 on defense. There are 32 teams in the NFL, and they're just better than 50% of them at defending the pass number 16 in the league. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice running on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 20 long at the outset of this drive. These two teams all tied after one. Charger football to start quarter number two. They're facing a... Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Preston Brown, the linebacker. Five. They'll set up to throw. And the catch good, it's Eifert. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for 15. Maybe even a little bit ahead. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bengals have taken. He used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff. Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs cases, dust covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellet. To throw his rivers. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the end. To throw on third down. Rivers, he finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown on the season. The main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to air it out deep for Green. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Because of his ability to do just about anything on a route, hard to do, creates a lot of pass interference calls. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all set. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator, understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense Realize he needs to change it to a run. On second down now, Nixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Nixon, his second. Rivers from the gun on third down. Got a man, it's complete. Williams for that one. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Here's Rivers. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Rivers. He completes it to Henry. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. 15 yards on the play. First down. On first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. And he's got his man. It's Henry for a Chargers touchdown. Hunter Henry. As the first half land on, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. Edge, Dak Prescott with two first half touchdown passes. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he's second and five. He completes it to Boyd. And I think the ball's out. And picked up by the Chargers. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Try to stop him here on third down. From the gun, Rivers. He's got a man. It's Williams. Territory now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Rivers on the money complete. And now to the races down the right side and all the way in for a charger touchdown hunter henry with two touchdowns and last time not only the turnover but that turned into six points they got to make up for that here yep. and tony o'brien kiss him goodbye and he finally goes down but not before reaching the 21 
wasting little time. They'll give it to Mixon. And he'll take this into the end zone for a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. They'll run with Jackson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That one. Rivers now to throw on first down. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 10, down at the 33. They run on first down with Jackson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard. On first and 10, Rivers. And caught by Henry. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Defense, I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination, look pretty good. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. View than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Here's second and eight. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Sometimes I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. Quarterback was hit. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Third down passes up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He's got his man, Boyd. And he slips up past the 45 before being last drive. Three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to... After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number. Someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. They'll drop the throw. He gets this one to Boyd. And brought down, but not before they're the goal line now for third down. Third and goal, Collins. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big deep. Looking for Boyd, and he's got him. Touchdown, Bengals. Tyler Boyd, his third touchdown now. Phillip Rivers and his Chargers about ready to take over again. And it's been a good game for him to this point, Charles. They're winning on the scoreboard. they got to be feeling pretty good. And it's always fun for them when they're not just winning on the scoreboard, but they're contributing in a big way. You see him throwing touchdown passes, watching this video here. It's got to be a now. Rivers on first down. Completes it to Benjamin. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 22 yards on the cat. Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. On the move on first down. Here's Jackson. And an alley to run. 20. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Jackson, his third touchdown now on the year. Third and 13. He'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Field And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a push to 10. He'll look to throw. Open man is Uzama. And they bring him to the ground just... You have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Desmond King picks it. He couldn't hook up with Amendola. Know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, L.A.
Justin Jackson with his second touchdown of the game. They did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Cincinnati. Ford want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your seat to five. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Green's open, and he's got it for a Bengal touchdown. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. A bit. Second down and goal. Rivers, and it's caught. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown ground through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really sink. The front putting on the point of 36 on third down. They'll look to throw here. And he's going to be sad. As for him because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did him no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, To the outside, that's complete to Williams. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Chargers here. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. He's picked off at his own 46. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for our visitors, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to 2-3. and three. And they'll get another road date next week. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.